And uh, this is another example of integration by parts. Um, it's a little more interesting because um, it, it works out a little differently. So again, I just need to make choices. So uh, you, I'm going to go with, um, well, let's see. I need to pick something that I can find the derivative of. Preferably, the derivative eventually will go to 0. Um, so I'm going to make u be x squared. And then dv would have to be e to the x dx. And then du is going to be 2x. And v is e to the x. So again, I managed to pick something that I can find an antiderivative of for dv. And uh, I need to be able to take derivatives, and hopefully they go to 0 for um, my choice of u. So now I know that my original integral, which um, is going to be equal to um, u times v, so x squared e to the x, minus the integral of v, which is e to the x, times du, which is 2x, um, oops, forgot a dx dx. Okay, so what do I have? I have x squared e to the x minus 2 times the integral of x e to the x dx. But what do I do now? Well, um, x e to the x dx actually looks to me like another candidate for integration by parts. Um, what you want to do at this point is once you've selected u, uh, you keep going. So uh, my new value of u is actually um, just going to be x. Like I wouldn't want to switch at this point and, and make e to the x my u. Um, so I just maintain then e to the x dx again. It tells me that du is dx and that v is e to the x. So now I have x squared e to the x minus 2, the quantity, um, uv, x, e to the x, minus the integral of v, which is e to the x, du, and I'm almost done. Remember, I'm carrying through a plus c here without writing it. So x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x minus... Uh, rather, plus 2 e to the x plus c, where in that last step I distributed negative 2 at the same time I uh, took the antiderivative, so I almost confused myself. Um, and that would be my final answer, so I had to uh, use integration by parts twice on that problem. Um, and it wasn't really very bad. Uh, you just have to be organized, make sure you use parentheses a lot. Um, so I hope you find that example helpful. Um, in this example, I'm going to do almost exactly the same problem, but I'm going to do it um, in a, a different way, um, a very organized different way. So, um, so I'm going to make u equal x squared. I'm going to make dv equal e to the 2x dx. And then I'm going to find v, which will be 1 half e to the 2x. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a table that has uh, u in it, that has v in it, and then that has the sign in it. And what's really happening here is I'm putting u's and v's, not just u and v. So the first one is x squared, um, and the first v is 1 half e to the 2x. And then the sign will be negative. So it's like I did uv minus. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the derivative. So derivatives go in the u column, so 2x. Um, an antiderivative here, which gives me 1 fourth e to the 2x. And then this will be a plus. I'm going to alternate signs now. Um, and hopefully in class, I will have explained to you why this works. Um, or hopefully someone will have explained to you in class why this works. Um, take a derivative here, go 1 eighth e to the 2x, and it would be minus, but since the derivative zeroes out here, everything beyond that would be zero. Now the um, answer that I'm looking for, the integral, um, I'm just going to call it i, is 
is um, 1 half x squared, so I just multiply across the rows, e to the 2x, I take the sine from the sine column, minus, and then it'll be um, the, the 2 and the 1 fourth cancel to 1 half x e to the 2x, and then plus the 2 and the 1 eighth cancel to 1 fourth, 1 fourth e to the 2x, and then uh, it zeroes out, and so I'm going to put plus c. Uh, this is called the table method, or sometimes rapid repeated integration by parts, um, or probably a dozen other things. Um, so I hope you find that helpful. It's actually really, really useful um, when you have something uh, where one of the derivatives eventually goes to zero, and you're going to have to repeat the process more than once. Um, so that's something to look out for. Uh, if you try to do this without this table method, you just have to be super careful about um, using parentheses and distributing and all sorts of things like that. But uh, I hope you find that helpful because it's a very useful technique.